In this video, I want to show you how you can find the whole quantity if a percentage is known. So the first question is, 20% of something is, is given to be 3. So what they're saying is, you want 20% is equal to 3. We want to find 100%. Okay, so the question is, what is 100%? Okay, so yeah, 20% is 3. So now the question is 100% is how much? Okay, so this is a question of proportion or ratio and proportion. Now this 20, there are how many lots of 20 in 100? So well, 20 times 5, there are 5 lots of 20 in 100. So <clears throat> 20 times 5 is 100. So if you multiply this part or this ratio, this is a ratio, you would also multiply this part by 5. So this has to be 15. So 100% should be 15. So you can say 20% of 15 is 3. Does it make sense? 20% of 15 is 3. So what is 10% of 15? 10% is 1.5, so 20% is 3. So it does make sense. Okay. So the next question, 25% of something is 7. Okay, so let's just write that. 25% is given to be 7. 25% is 7. Okay, so 50% would be how much? We'll try to do in different ways. So 50% is double of 25%, so that has to be 14. So from 50%, you can write 100%. So 100% 100 is 28 Okay, so in other words, a quarter, so here the answer is 28. So here to check your answer, I hope you know 25% as a fraction. In my previous video, I showed how to convert fraction to decimals, sorry, fractions to percentage. 25% is a quarter, so quarter of 28 is the question, isn't it? 25% of 20, so 25% 25 of 28 is same as a quarter of 28, which is 7. Okay. So our answer is right. Okay. So let's move on. 60% of something is, so let me change color. 60% is given to be 24. So from 60%, can I find 10%? Okay. So yeah, 60% from 60% to 10%, I cannot, you cannot multiply, you can multiply though, but yeah, 60 divided by what gives you 10? So, well, 60 divided by 6 is 10, so you have to also do the same thing to this branch, so 26 divided by 6, which is 4, so 10% is 4. Now, from 10%, you can find 100%. From 10% you can find 100%. So 10 times what is 100? So 10 times 10 is 100. So you do the same thing to this part times 10, which is 40. So the answer is 40. Does it make sense? So let us check with a different color. So we are saying that 60% of 40 is 24. So 10% of 40. 10% of 40 is 4. So 60% is 6 times of this, which is 24. So your answer is right. Moving on. Okay, 12.5% of something is half. So 12.5% is half. So let us double it. So what is double of 12.5%? So double of 12 is 24 and double of half is 1. So it's 25% is 1. Now from 25% you can find 100% because 100% is 4 times of this. So that is 4. So which is answer is 4. Yeah. So does it make sense? 1 8. Okay. 12 and a it is well known as one eighth because twelve and a half percent is half of twenty five percent. Okay, so twenty five percent, if you know, is a quarter. You can say that twelve and a half percent is one eighth. So one eighth of 
the question is basically one eighth of four. One eighth of four is four divided by or one eighth times four, which is four over eight, which is half. So our answer is right. Okay, let's look at one more question. Five percent of something is twelve. So what is given? Five percent is twelve. So can we find ten percent? Well, 10% is double of 5%, so 10% is 24, and from 10% you can find 100%. So 100% is 240, because this is 10 times. So this is doubling, this is times 2, and this is times 10. Times, not 100, times 10. Okay, so do the same thing here times this by 2, so 24, and then times it by 10. So this is 240 is your answer. So it does make sense, 10% is 24, so 5% is 12. Okay, the last question, I think. So 150% of something, so this is an interesting question, 150% is 2.1. So I'm going to write 150% as 50% plus 50 percent plus 50 percent I'm dividing 50 percent in 150 percent into three equal parts so if I divide this into three equal parts this is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 so what have you said that 50 percent is 0 0.7 50 percent is 0 0.7 so 100% is double of this, which is 1.4. And just to confirm, so if you add this to, this is 150%. And if you add this to, you'll get 